Hello everyone, and we're going to be talking about echo and reverb, or reverberation. Or reverberation. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let's get serious. Basically, here's my thing before we even go into this video. Echo is necessary only sometimes. You have to know exactly when to add echo to your vocals. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does not work. You should use very, 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 very little echo. I'll leave it at that. The uh, GarageBand 10 echo knob is very little, please. Like maybe 1 16th, 130th smidge, whatever that means. Just don't use much of it. Now, for the reverb, if you do not have a studio booth, or your home studio is not soundproof, so to speak, and you're hearing like an echo and things of that nature, you don't need any reverb because you automatically have reverb built into your voice audio recording. So if you hear a lot of back echo, you already got reverb, no need to add extra reverb on top of reverb. If you learn nothing from this video, that is the number one thing you must take away. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here first, let me turn the volume down. Yeah, and I know this sounds very terrible because I'm playing it through the Mac speakers, but we're gonna do the best we can here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the echo and let's see how it sounds. I'm going to turn the echo on both. I'm going to move it a smidge. Alright, so you can kind of tell a huge difference just by moving a smidge. Um, I mean, that's kind of just self-explanatory there. Now, you could choose different presets. This is kind of what I was talking about in the documents and the audio. You have bright vocals, classic vocals, natural vocals. Uh, these are the ones I choose the most and they have different smart controls as you can see as I was changing them They were different very different actually, so You know GarageBand 10 kind of knows what they're doing when they change the smart controls based on the preset What we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you the plate reverb I want you guys to make a special note on this save it write it down try it But I also made a made my own plate reverb. That's where you can find a plate reverb right there. It's a preset. But I also got a silver plate reverb. Don't ask me why I picked the word silver plate. Maybe because I think it's better than the regular plate. I'm arrogant. All right. You can also do this uh, background vocals reverb. is pretty good. Uh, you can try that for your vocals, for your background vocals, not lead vocals. And you can also do this for main vocals. Um, it's, it works for like singing. You can kind of hear. I don't know why I was talking while I was playing it. But anyway, um, you could try it out. Um, it's better. Some vocals are better for singing. If you're rapping, it's better to use the silver plate or the plate reverb. All right, so again, you can definitely uh, Yeah, I just want you guys to hear that because uh, last time I was talking during the time that I was playing Not sure why I was doing that Kind of trying to multitask and So you can kind of tell the difference with the silver plate versus the main vocals so yeah, and like I was saying, I only had a couple hours of sleep, so I really wanted to get this stuff out as soon as possible. But that's the reverb. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at something else here. I'm going to show you something. Yeah, guys, I, if I didn't include this in the lecture, you guys have been pretty upset. 
I know everyone wants to know how to do a delay echo that repeats in GarageBand 10. So without further ado, this is not going to take me that long to show you guys how to do this. And it's pretty freaking awesome. I want to first apologize for making this video so long. It's already going on five minutes or so. But I think reverb and echo justifies it. So I decided to combine this video with two videos and the second half of this video we will be talking about delay echo using the audio unit that comes with GarageBand 10. Okay, so I have the audio unit up. That's without the echo. I'm going to play it with the echo now. I want you guys to hear this. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got to this. This is where you get the delay audio unit. And we're going to get busy with this. I'm going to play it for you here soon. You see this? You see the difference? And if you, you see the, uh, you see me drag, you just basically, you're clicking, you're dragging. Left to right changes the timing of the echo up and down with the, uh, starting with that main glowing bar. That is going to increase or decrease the volume. See that? Watch this. You see how the echo is repeating slower? And now I increase the volume and now the echo is louder and slower. It's that simple. And that's it. And that's how you do it.